Uh, in today's video, I want to share about data exchange or CAD file format. Okay. Um, to start off, I will give a small example. For example, if I want to write a text document in Microsoft Word and I want to email to somebody else, how am I sure that the receiver of my email can open the file, the text document? So normally if I save it in Word file format, which is .docx, .x, the recipient has also to open with Word, uh, Microsoft Word or as another software which can open .docx. Okay? Uh, but, for example, let's say he doesn't have a software to open dot, that file format. What should I do? Okay. So a solution is to send the file, uh, save it in .pdf, in PDF file format. So when I send in PDF file format, anybody can open it easily. So there is an example of uh, data exchange and Nuclear file format, okay, which I'm going to explore in the context of CAD. Okay. So, for example, here uh, I have opened Katya and I want to design a simple part. Okay. Yeah. Part 1. And I want to draw, for example, a cylinder. So I make extrusion from this circle, and here I have my cylinder. And when I save the cylinder, <coughs> cylinder, the the format is dot cat part. Okay. Now I use another. CAD software, for example, here. So I want to open the file that I have just saved in Katia just now. So if I look at all files, cylinder, Katia file. Okay. So this is what happens when we try to open the Katia file format, CAD file in another CAD software. It is not able to support and read the, the file. Okay. So what should I do? Okay. So we go back to Katya. We save the file in STL file format. Okay. STL. We try again to open in FreeCAD. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. All files. STL. So now we can see that FreeCAD can open the STL file of the cylinder that I designed just now. Yeah, the STL file. Let me see what else, what software can I open. For example, if I choose 3D Viewer. So here, 3D viewer can also open the STL file. Okay. Another example, I choose uh, Paint 3D. Okay. Can it open? Okay. So here we can see that Paint can also open the 3D file, the file format that I saved just now, the STL file. Okay. Now let's see. If I open with Notepad, do you think I can open it? I choose Notepad. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So when I choose uh, Notepad, okay. we can see here a list of numbers what do these numbers mean okay so here we have facet normal outer loop vertex 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 and loop and facet okay so vertex is for example if you have one triangle the corner is what we call vertex so here we have three vertices okay 
the vertices. And these three numbers are x, y, z. These are coordinates of each vertex. Okay, so here's the coordinate of the first vertex. Coordinate x, y, z of the second vertex. Coordinate of the third vertex x, y, z. Okay, so this makes, defines one triangle. So this defines another triangle, a third triangle, fourth triangle, and we have hundreds or maybe thousands of triangles. Okay? So what do these triangles mean? Well, the STL file format actually saves by constructing small triangles on the surfaces of the pipe. Okay, so from here we have one cylinder. The file, the STL file format will save the data of this part by defining small circle, uh, triangles on the surfaces of the pipe. Okay, so these, all these small triangles are listed in here. Okay. So here we can read how the data in the STL file format is being stored. Okay, so that is the first part of this video. In my next in this in the next video I will explain about more about STL file format, the limitations and also the advantages. Okay. So thank you very much for listening.